watching DBN International Broadcasting Network. You are watching DBN. This is DBN. Stay tuned at DBN. Thank you very much and welcome. It is another time that we meet in DBN TV and I fully welcome you. Let's uh, walk together. Remember, this is the program that we usually come to you every evening at this very station. And I want to welcome all our viewers, feel at home, feel in the right place. Let's walk together. And today, they say disability is not inability. It is a phrase that has been used by many, but today we want to get the reality of the phrase. And I'm joined here with a guest. Remember our show is Wisdom Corner. And every time in Wisdom Corner we bring a number of guests who in one way or the other can inspire you and make you move in life and identify that is. There is another step that we need to walk as far as life is concerned. So, I may make the introduction, but I may not give it full. So, I'll give him an opportunity to make an introduction. So, I understand that my beauty is very well. I guess I want to believe. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, um, I love the Lord. Yes. I'm a believer. Amen. I am a producer. Yes. I am a psychologist. Uh -huh. I'm a missionary and I'm a father. Wow. Dad, I mean, that, that's amazing because you talk of, you, you do music, yes. you mention a number of professions that you do. Yes. But uh, so some people may say, ask, yes. how are you able to do this? Nowadays, people still criticize you. I'm not with it by the same Sure. You believe your beauty. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to have the step uh, to take care of it or maybe to expose it. Uh, uh, yes. So what is your difference in uh, all the things that I've seen? Very well. Yes. Now, when did you realize, or rather, when did you realize that you are disabled? Mm, the disabled has got no realization mm -hmm. because it's an occurrence. Mm -hmm. So I, I became by default. Yeah. I lost my sight at the age of 13. As a result of medical negligence. Otherwise, I went to the hospital and this nurse applied wrong chemical to the eye. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born blind, I was seen at the age of 13, but I mentioned. Oh. Oh. So it was a matter of default. Mm -hmm. Yes. Too sorry for that. But uh, anyway, well, worry, the, the Lord okay. is there, just as you say. Yeah, you can do it very well. Now, uh, after you have realized that, you, after you realized that you lost your sight, I know it was a shock to you. What exactly did it do? Of course, it was quite shocking, uh, shocking emotionally, psychologically, yes. all those uh, pillars of life. Mm -hmm. Because it is a world that I was never used to. Yeah. Uh, you see, um, going to the hospital alone, walking all alone, my dog coming out of it after a few hours blind, mm -hmm. uh, you can be sure it is not a laughing matter. That's true. Um, what is actually a cut thing happens? What happened? Is there is uh, you many questions begin to run in my mind, sure. and especially asking myself very many questions. Mm -hmm. For example, how is tomorrow? Yes. I mean, what could have happened? Maybe it would have been done better. Mm -hmm. And then why me? And then what? What next? Mm -hmm. You know, such like questions. Yeah. They, they, they have to come. Mm -hmm. They have to cross, cross your mind. Mm -hmm. But as the word says, the time. As but a way of dealing with issues. Sure. As time comes, mm. you find you come into terms with it. Yes. You first of all live in denial, then you live in this, and then you, you come to the debative stage, and then you come to the acceptance. So, if you talk of denial, allow me to cut you short. Yes. Uh, how, how did the family, or rather, how did the, uh, the family members stay? Well, well the, the family members and the friends. Thank you. The state of denial. Mm. For the disability case, especially, it is not for the outside one. It's yeah. not the second person, it's from yourself. Mm -hmm. You deny your blind, first of all, because you, it is another world altogether. You, you feel like, no, it is not true. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm going to see the next 30 minutes. Yeah. And um, you don't come, your brain yes. and your mind mm -hmm. has not come into terms with it. So sometimes I could walk. Like I used to walk, you know, this 13 year boy, it's a boy at adolescence, very active, mm -hmm. and I was a hyper. Yes. So um, sometimes you wake up, you want to go and ride a bus, because you used to ride it, you know, then you find you cannot do it. Sure. I come from the fishing side. Sometimes you wake up, you want to go and fish, 
and you find becomes a challenge. Such a thing. So it becomes a burden in your life. Let's but go. but for the family, yes. not the mm. My family, of course, they it's like, is it true? Yeah, is it true? But then they come to terms with it. Yeah. And friends as well. Yeah. Yes. So uh, uh, let's go to your religious part. Yes. When did you give your life to Christ, or rather, when did you accept Christ as your personal savior? I accepted Christ, Christ as my personal savior at the, the year 1995. Mm -hmm. At that was, time, yeah. you were know, you in the. I was, I was, I was in high school, yes. And I was, I was, I was very like, okay, but after using my sight, I went to special school for the blind primary level. Mm -hmm. Wake up from the day I went to high school, take high school for the blind, mm -hmm. and being absent, all the school for the blind primary. Mm -hmm. And that's when I gave my life. Of course, I came from a background, a Christian background. My dad was a reverend, he was a pastor, he was an evangelist. And uh, I knew that Jesus saves at the age of, uh, at, at the age of realization sure. that I, I'm a child, yeah. because I was born into that house. Yes. But of course, with some pretentious life, you know, you is like a use to the world. Yeah. Sure. But then later on, because I uh, thank God that the, the grace of the Lord, mm. He came for me and I accepted him fully as my savior at that age, now when I was in the church. Sure. Remember, we are still in DBM TV and uh, we have a very interesting and a very catchy uh, uh, issue that we are talking about here. Uh, we have our guest Dan. They say disability is not inability. We are here to prove that phrase, that it is true, that people can do it as much as how disabled you are. So Dan, allow me to ask you a question that uh, you, you say you're a musician. You yes. mentioned a, a number of things that you do. Yes. Did you start then before the current condition? Yeah, I was not a musician. Mm. Because when I was a young boy, yes. I used to love music. Mm. I used to make some funny, funny instruments, you know. Yes. But I young boy could make, could do his music, mm. a string or some tea, yes. and you pull it and it gives you some sound, and I used to do that. Uh, but now the full realization of my musicality came as a result of being in the school, in the school for the blind. Yes. So in that environment, music was so much prioritized. Yes. So they, they, they gave us a lot of priority in music and the things that a, a visually impaired child could do. And yes. music was one of them. Yes. So when it happened, so I as well ventured into it, and I did it. Remember, I've lost my first ambition. I wanted to be in the military. I wanted to be a footballer, other things. Yes. I could not do that now. Mm -hmm. So I narrowed down to what I could do. I have, I have to search the little ability remaining in me. Mm -hmm. It brings me to a phrase that I'm always about to quote. Forgive me, I'm a motivational speaker. Sure. This is the word. This ability is not inability. That's true. But in every disability, mm -hmm. there is a limit. In every disability, there is a need. In every disability, there is a need. There is a need. As long as you have a disability. I'm just going to explore on that little bit you have. Mm -hmm. Capitalize it, it, zero it, it, and then uh, take your time, it, give it all you have. Yes. Then it will magnify itself. And it will be a measure of another. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. After realizing I could do many things, and music was not the ability that was remaining as I am born, mm -hmm. I gave it my all. Because someone might sit there and say, uh, Dan realized that he's blind or what happened. But why music? You see, music, let me talk philosophically. Sure. Music is not to be seen. Mm -hmm. Music is to be heard. That's why you say I'm listening to music. Mm -hmm. Music is audible, not visible. Mm -hmm. And therefore, in my invisibility, I had that audibility. Mm -hmm. But yes, well, well, and music is to be heard. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I was rightly placed. Mm -hmm. So any visually impaired person can do music because music is simply to be heard. Exactly. Yes. And you can prove this from him. Even as he says, he's a public speaker, you can get it right away. Remember, viewers, uh, you can get us through the line below your screen. You can text any question, I can see some flowing. You can get us through, Twitter, through, through Facebook, uh, Twitter, and even our SMS line is open. So you can just write any question, you can 
uh, any query, you have any question you have to him. Now back to you, Dan. Yes. Um, in Kenya currently, yes. uh, what can you say about the body, or rather the body which is in charge of the, of the disability? Are they really doing something as far as uh, the disability uh, reforms? Yes, uh, long ago, uh, there was a lot of passive. Yes. They were not all that active. But yes. now I can okay. kudos to them, I can yes. give it to them, and especially mm -hmm. this regime. Mm -hmm. Uh, the current regime has restructured and reorganized mm -hmm. the disabled, the members of the disabled. Yes. Until we have a council called NCPWD, National Council for People with Disabilities. Sure, sure. We fully funded by the government sure. to assist them to mm -hmm. realize themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I cut that, that one, I say kudos to the government and mm -hmm. God bless them. Yeah, Long sure. ago it wasn't there. It, it was you and your God and your family. Yeah. But now they've tried. And, mm -hmm. But that's not enough because I say, the, we are, people are being recruited, again allow me to speak philosophically, mm -hmm. people are being recruited into the club of disability day by day. Mm -hmm. People are getting accident on the road and they, they crash their bones, they're disabled. Mm -hmm. people, uh, some guys have been born, some children are being born, yes. all, the, the same problem that they're doing in the club. It's a club that people are doing day by day, hour by hour. That's so I only request that uh, the kitty should be fattened now yes. uh, to accommodate and to do it. To many of us. Mm. Yes. So that is a goodness to the country, or rather to the government, they're doing a good job. Yes. I saw your, your, the, the, the nominated member of parliament, is, uh, 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 David Sanko. Yes. He, he works tirelessly with all you guys. Yes. And uh, that is amazing. Right. Right. That is amazing. So I know the society sometimes have some notion, rather, yes. they, they, they have an eye yes. where they, they look uh, yes. upon the, the Disability, yes. the disabled people in the society. Yeah. To you, has it been a case? Yeah, it, of course, yes. Yes. You know, I come from a uh, humble background. Mm -hmm. Now there are more young problems. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, you come from a village where the only vision impaired. Mm -hmm. uh, very many kilometers if you get another one. Probably 30, 40, 50 kilometers if you get another one. So you become the center of attraction to any boy. No? You come set up a question to anybody, how does he make it, how does he... So, certain like questions, but I, 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 I dare say this, um, uh, man of God, yes. they are, that's why we are, we, we are now embarking into a, some, a very serious thing, program called self-awareness yes. and disability awareness. Yes. That people have, been not, have, have, have not been eliminated enough mm -hmm. to realize and to be, uh, to be made aware of the disabled bodies, the disabled, disabled community are uh, in their environment. So I think that disability awareness program yes. should be run all over the country, yes. the world wide, so, so that people, because we live in the community, we live in the society, sure. every disabled man, woman, girl, boy, child yeah. has got a parent and therefore has got brothers and sisters, has got uncles and aunties. They don't come from another planet, they come from right from the society. That's true. And, and having said that, yes, we, we have some families, maybe this has happened in the interior part of, yes. of the country, yes. where they realize that they have disabled children, yes. rather they have uh, disabled people, yes. there, but they tend to hide them. What yeah. can you advise? Yeah, well, you know, disability is not a bad woman. True. It, it, it is not a curse. Mm. It, it is a happening. And let me say this. And uh, viewers, mm. take this to my mm. Every one of us is disabled in a way. True. Let me get to speak philosophically. I'm a philosopher. I know. <laughs> Everyone, every one of us is disabled in a way. Because what is disability? Yes. It is lack of ability to do something. Yes. Now my question is, who, is, who has got a ability to do everything on earth? Who is that? No one. Yes. So if you cannot say you are musically disabled, mm -hmm. If you cannot rap, you are music, you are athletically disabled. Yes. You know, if you cannot do something in science, you are scientifically disabled. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's high time. Therefore, let my disability be your ability, and your ability be my disability. So that my weakness should be your strength. Amazing. Your strength should be my weakness, and be there for me. I be there for you. The world should be a better place to live. Wise words. Mm -hmm. And remember, is the wisdom corner. Yes. This is the wisdom coming out. Yes. 
and uh, you got it for yourself. I can see people tweeting, others doing SMS, there are a lot of tweets. Thank you very much for all those who are following us up. Thank you very much. May God bless you all viewers of uh, DBM uh, TV. Thank you very much. Now, as we conclude, yes, as we wrap up, yes. um, what advice do you have to those people watching you and uh, you are here, you have made it, I mean, you have come that uh, long, long, I mean, you, you have walked through this year. Yes. I know there have been challenges yes. here, but you are able to cope with the challenge. Yes. Maybe someone else is looking at you then yes. and thinking, how did you make it? I made it by accepting the way I am. Acceptance, acceptance. Yes. Then I realized mm -hmm. Yes. Know who you are. I be aware of who you are. Yes. Identify yourself. Mm -hmm. Then capitalize on what you can do. And as my part is short. Yes. DBN through the director, yes. the man of God, yes. has now put a studio, a recording studio. Yes. The sister of this broadcasting studio. Mm -hmm. I urge all parents, brothers and sisters, we stable children, even other children, wives who can see, please make yourself available. We are now recording audio, we are recording music, you can call the number on the screen for further direction. We are now doing it, I'm doing it myself, I'm the one directing that music. So come and see the ability within the disability. You are able to promote you, you are able to discover yourself and who you are. So welcome to the DBN recording studio as well. Amazing. For music. Gospel music to be specific. Gospel music. Yes. That is it. You've heard it right from his own lips. And uh, that is the truth of the matter. Maybe you are there and you say, oh, really? Is this really done? Can he see? Can he do what he's saying? Come and test him. He's here in Nairobi. And uh, in, uh, DBM TV. We have a, a whole production. The, the, the companies have a production. If you have songs to be recorded, they will be done right in this very place. Because of time. I know if time could have allowed us, we could have gone on and on and on. Because I realize one thing with you, Dan, if you're a public speaker, yes. is you're very friendly to come speak a lot. Yeah. But anyway, because of time, because time must be respected, we shall end from there next time. Same venue, really? same place. Wow. Thank you very much. Some of us are the CD, man. Like speaker, good for more. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>